Well, imagine this. While the rain was pouring down, the Angama pride took advantage. Of course, the animals would not have been able to see them approaching, and they, I can't see what they've killed, but they've killed something. So we've just opened up the one side of our, uh, our vehicle to show you the Angama pride looking very happy. The cubs were quite full this morning, but the lionesses were hungry. Now, I'm pretty sure they, they used, as that big storm came in, they moved out into the short grass and took advantage of an animal that couldn't see them coming through that wall of water. Now, I don't know how long we're going to be able to stay here. There is more rain on the way, so we will stay for as long as possible. But isn't this exciting? Where there's a will, there's a way. We meandered about. 400 meters from where we've been sitting, uh, waiting for the rain to go, and the Angamas have made a kill. And it's quite fresh, I would say. We probably missed it. It was while we were sitting tight, waiting for the rain to abate, um, that they caught this. I think they would have caught this probably in the sort of eye of the storm. Francis from Israel says, wow, another kill. Wow, indeed. These girls have got 12 hungry cubs to keep well fed, and they're doing a spectacular job of that. Alicia says, these cats are better groomed, I assume you're comparing them to the poor Sticks Pride. Um, <laughs> and they're better groomed because they've got a better diet, generally, or a bit of an easier diet. Um, and uh, a lot of the animals here will be in better condition uh, than Juma at the moment because it is sort of the small ra beginning of the small rains. There's lots of lovely green grass. So the animals that the lions are eating here are in prime condition, where there is in, at Juma, you're coming right out of the end of dry season. So the animals will be suffering a little bit from condition. Ooh. There's a little bit of a family disagreement about who gets the tasty last piece of liver. Well, Rebecca is wondering how long will it take them to eat the whole animal. Rebecca, I can't see what animal this is, but it's probably nearly done already. Um, and there's just a pile of lions on top of it, uh, hence we can't see what it is. Now, quite funny, um, um, some of you might have seen on Twitter or on Instagram or even on Facebook, um, I put up a little video of the road we took to get here. Uh, the road is a river. Um, and we nearly got stuck while that because I was, uh, was fiddling around making a video. But, uh, well, fortunately, we managed to not get stuck. Uh, we are about halfway up the river road. And uh, we will try and continue up it a little bit later. As I said, yeah, there is some more rain coming in. You can probably still hear the pitter-patter of raindrops on our roof. Kylie is wondering, how does the blood not permanently stain their fur? Well, Kylie, what happens is they will lick it off. Um, other lions will help them groom it, um, and it just comes off quite quickly. It comes off their fur. Now, we're quite lucky the lines have moved to where they are now. From if we had to drive the road that they were on this morning, it was, uh, we would certainly have got very, very stuck. Now, if it stays like this, we should be okay to sit here for a while. Um, there was some more lightning to the south, but it, that's not where I'm too worried about. I'm actually worried about uh, there's another big storm directly behind final control. So I'm hoping that doesn't come down over us. And as I said, it's almost on cue. <laughs> Alicia says they still look slippery. Well, I'm sure they're absolutely soaked. They weren't able to sit and, oh, hungry. I thought it said slippery. Um, hungry, well, as I say, there are 12 lionesses. I don't think this was a particularly big kill, maybe a baby zebra. Um, as I say, it's very difficult for us to see what it is when the lions are all scrummaging uh, to try and get a tasty treat. Um, and the females will let the cubs eat first. And... Um, they don't look too bad. Uh, I mean, the females were a little bit hungry this morning. They weren't starving by any means, um, but 
the Cubs are greedy guts. Uh, the older the Cubs get, uh, the less tolerant the, the ladies will be uh, of them scoffing most of the meal and they'll uh, get the odd clip around the ears and to remind them that they're not quite the big big bosses yet. Yeah, you can see she she she's fed, but she's not not well fed. Rebecca is wondering when do lion cubs get their big teeth? They lose their milk teeth at about six months old, and that's also when the females wean them. Uh, of course, once they get those adult teeth, oof. there was a, a, a big lightning strike in the distance. Um, but once, uh, once they are weaned uh, at that. As soon as they start getting their adult teeth, uh, the females will wean them off milk, uh, of course, because uh, those adult teeth could probably do some damage to mom. Stevie is wondering how many kills a day do they have to make to feed all 12 cubs and themselves? Well, they probably don't kill every day, Stevie. Probably every second day or every third day. Uh, lions can go quite a few days without without eating. Can we see what it is yet? No, just the odd rib popping up. Now, lions have the most atrocious table manners. Absolute free for all. Can you hear the cub? Mine! Mine! Christine is wondering, are there any male cubs in this group? Uh, definitely one, because I saw him this morning. I haven't spent as much time with Angama Pride as, as a lot of the other uh, presenters. Uh, so I, I, I know there's definitely, I think there's probably, there's definitely one, I'd say probably a few more. Um, Oof. Grumpy guts. It's amazing how quickly some of these cubs have grown since we arrived here. Rex is wondering how old are the cubs when they learn to hunt? Rex. That's the thing, and a lot of people assume lions have to learn. They don't. Hunting is instinctive. It is inbred in them. They are killing machines. They have evolved to be like that. <coughs> but by the time they actually start being effective members of the the, the hunt, um, probably around two years old, now they will hunt and stalk lots insects, butterflies, lots of little things up until then, and and. And they sometimes are quite successful in catching, uh, but they're not really, they tend to mess up a lot of hunts. But the best way, and well, there's a lot of people who think you need to teach a lion to hunt, and all you, as a, the best way to describe it is all you need to do is let the lion get hungry, and it will catch something. It could even be you.